Black on black always looking crispy. Boy Snoopy Eats. Hey, check it out. Welcome back to my channel and everybody that's new, welcome uh, to my channel. Alright, so uh, I'm hella tired, y'all. But I said, you know what, I'm gonna do this Burger King. I've done Burger King a few times, but I've never done this. i never seen this. I heard about it. I think RDR, my homeboy RDR, who's another YouTuber, I'll put his link in here. Go check him out. That that brother's awesome. So, what up, RDR? Um, so this is uh, Burger King's version of, what is it? Uh, the quarter pounder but I got the double so this is what you would call the double quarter pounder by BK then I got just the regular fries and I hope they're still hot you see yeah. Yeah, I got a chocolate shake and they put um, whipped cream on it on the top mmm So I just want to review it because I was in a burger mood and I never had it before. But you know what? They use the same stuff that they got there, right? So it's not like it's a different type of patty or anything like that. At least I don't think so. I'm hit these. Hit it with some ketchup. I got a couple things I want to talk about that I found out today, and then I got some, uh, show you guys my games. I'm going to start doing some gaming and uh, play games that I like to play. I don't care, like, who's playing what. I, I never was one to, like, follow what everybody does. I, I, I like what I like. And I got some barbecue sauce on, just in case the burger needs it. I'm going to just leave it to the side. I'm gonna just get right into this and just start eating because I'm hungry. It's my first solid meal of the day. Hey, I went to this place. If you guys are in the Barry area here in um, Northern Ontario, go check out a place called Lee's Chinese Food. I think it's just or Lee's Chinese Cuisine. It's like it's half Chinese, half Thai. Let me tell you, we punched in uh, in Google. We we punched in um, best Chinese places in Bar best Chinese food in Barry, right? And this place keeps getting the best reviews, so I say, you know what, let's go try it out. Oh, I have it over there. It's called Dry Chili Chicken. Let me tell you, dude. Damn. Now I know why they get all their props. That shit is bomb. Here's a double. Looks like a Whopper, but you try it out. Oh, I got some black pant to get. Mmm. <laughs> It's definitely the um, it's definitely the Burger King flavor, but it tastes like um, quarter pounder from McDonald's. They they make it look like it. It looks like it too. I mean, that's a good burger, but I already had it in my mind. I already knew that um, it's just gonna be. A recreation of McDonald's burger, but it's gonna taste like Burger King because they're using their own ingredients, right? Hmm. Oh. 
So I got like another 10 or 12 games over there under my TV, but I'll do that for another another video. But these are the games that I love that I currently play. The new Uncharted and then the Uncharted 4, Until Dawn, UFCs. I like sports games too, but I haven't picked up a sports game in a minute. So shouts out to all the gamers out there. I call myself a gamer. But I haven't even been, I've been online I think once or twice with my kids just to learn it. But <laughs> those games like Call of Duty and um Overwatch and those shooter games, are, those shooter games are crazy. They move too fast. I can't. I don't know what practice you get better. I don't have the um the patience to. I'm older, I guess. I don't have patience to try to learn that. I know. Cali Muscle. I've been following him for years, and uh, I know when he started, he he was like me, you know, wasn't no good or nothing like that. But he kept out, he kept playing, he fell in love with it, and now he's pretty good. So this one is like a bonus, right? This one is hella fun. This is a sick ass game to play right here. And of course, you got the classic. I actually got this t-shirt too. The day I went to buy this. Oh, this chocolate milk. I mean, um, shake. This was hella hitting the spot. But if Burger King was trying to make this taste like McDonald's um, quarter pounder, it tastes pretty much almost exactly to it. I think I hit my 1500 y'all so I want to say thank you to everybody who supported me to help me get there big shout out to all my new subbies and the awesome comments that I got on my last video I appreciate it a lot man that, that was fun that was a fun video tonight y'all I'm just tired just gonna eat <laughs> I was binge watching Bob Ross. Y'all remember Bob Ross? He's this old school cat. I don't know if he's Portuguese. Huh? He's just like an old school white cat. But this auburn golden type of afro. It's perfect afro. And he paints. I used to watch him as a kid. But he paints and he starts off with this canvas and he talks very calm like this. And what we're going to do <coughs> is we're just going to Take a little bit of this dark blue, mix it with a little bit of midnight black, and let's add a little bit of white in there, just to give it a nice little tone. And we're gonna hit the canvas now, with just beautiful little clouds in the corner, and smooth it out there. Just take our other brush and beat it off in the corner. Just give it a good beat, beat, beat the devil out of it. And then we're gonna add a little bit of yellow and a little bright red, and we're gonna give it a little sun, a little sun rays in the background there. And then over here, eventually, we're gonna put in the mountains. That dude. <laughs> I've been binge watching him. That fool is dope. And it's so relaxing. Like, I fell asleep last night watching that dude.
And his artwork is dope. Oh, let me show y'all this. This right here, um, I bought. And I have another one kind of similar to it, but I'm going to show you. These fries are no good no more. That's the thing about fries, that's the side. And I was like, in the car, I could have ate them, you know, when they're, you know, most of the times when you buy food, most people, when they, when you buy fast food, especially like a burger fry, the first thing that disappears is the fries, right? You drive it, and you just put in the back, tunes blazing. So I don't know if I showed you guys this last time, but like earbuds, right? And of course they come out. You got the little piece and you put it in your ear and it plays off your phone. When you put it back like this, this itself is, is, a, is the case you carry it in and it's the charger, All right? So it's the case and the charger. You just plug your USB in here. It takes most standard um, cell phone chargers. Plug it in here, plug it in your wall, and I think it takes an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and a half to charge fully to give you, I think, I don't know. You gotta read the thing. I think it gives, it gives you a few hours good of um, play time. So, um, I think that was it. And this book I want to talk about right here. All right. Mark by Moonlight. I love this book. All right. This book is dope. I think it throws a lot of dudes off. And, and most of the dudes that it throws off are dudes that are scared to like whatever they want to like. But it's a paranormal romance and it's off the hook like I wish this was a, a movie I'll read the back to you real quick <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take a couple more bites and I'm out of here okay she doesn't know what bit her that's <coughs> <coughs> the top heading on the back <coughs> seemingly overnight Claire Morgan who is this lady right here Claire Morgan has transformed the normally mousy school teacher is now bold and her behavior is truly wild her eyes gleam silver Suddenly, she's a self-confident femme fatale <laughs> with a libido that just won't quit. Ooh, wee. All right. After an impulsive makeover, <clears throat> she's even, dare she say it, sexy. Is Claire going insane? Then, brutally handsome stranger Gideon March tells her she was bitten by a werewolf, and Claire figures he's, in, he's the insane one. Sure, she was attacked by a nasty dog in the back alley, but this guy stalker her says he's a member of an underground society of lichen hunters. Okay, so this dude hunts lichens, which is werewolves, right? He hunts werewolves. And his mission is to terminate her immediately. Damn, okay, so his mission is to murk this, this female, right? This mousy, quiet little teacher that got bit by what she claimed was a stray dog in the alleyway. And now her eyes are glowing silver and she feels sexy and she's got like this whole different type of energy, right? And um, so when Claire finally realizes she really is a lichen, there's no turning back. <clears throat> because now Claire and Gideon are bound by a hunger of passion. Damn. If they can't break the curse by the next full moon, Claire's soul will be lost forever and Gideon will be forced to terminate his prey. A woman dangerously close to devouring him, his heart, and his soul. And let me tell you, I read this book three times a few years ago. I've had this for a very, very, very long time. I had this for oh, probably over 10 years. And I read this book three times. I read it at work. 
and um, this book is dope, man. Like I love this book. Like it, you, when you get into a good read after the first chapter, you, you don't really recognize that you're holding the book anymore. You actually you, you go into the story and then you start to see it in your head like a movie, and it's a it's a it's a dope ass book. So if you're a freak like me and you like paranormal stuff and you like love, lust, all that good stuff, that look, get this book. All right, there's another one right here, Midnight Craving. And this one has four or five short stories in it. This is a good one too. The ladies gonna love it, man. And any dude out there that that's into paranormal stuff like that, like werewolves, vampires, hot girls, you know, uh, murder mysteries, crime solving, uh, you know, all that good stuff. These these are good books right here. So if you want, or you know what, I'll put I'll put the information in the description for these two books. You guys already know about the PS4 games. It's easy to get. And that uh, Sony WF-1000X wireless earbuds that are Bluetooth. I'm not sure if they're waterproof, but they play everything off your phone. So whatever you got in your library, it'll play. And that's pretty much all I got for y'all tonight. Uh, I'm full now <clears throat> because I was munching here and there before I did this. I was eating that. Uh, it's right here. Let me show you all real quick before I go. This chicken is bomb, and it's got all kinds of, it's like dry fried with chilies and onions, and uh, it's just, ooh. I'm going to get the munchies in a couple hours, watch, I'm going to heat that up, toss it over some white rice, just chill back, and then I have this for a snack later too. Next show, or so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. The next show, my next book bank uh, coming up, but I do plan on touching on mental illness. All right. So if you guys have anything specific about that topic, you want me to speak up? I will, because um, I've lived with it. Not me personally, but family members. Right. So. I know what it's all about so if you're struggling with that situation currently or you have before or you're noticing it now and you think you're gonna go through it message me message me and um, we can make some time we could we could chat about it that's a serious thing and um <clears throat> It's an extremely hard situation for people to deal with, right? And um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are good people suffer for that. Oh, let me mention these two things. So <clears throat> first of all, we got hit with some crazy ass windstorm and then it snowed like crazy. So I drove through it, went to go do the shopping, whatever, and then drove back towards it and then just came right into it about two minutes before I pulled up into my house. But it was it was nuts, man. It sliding everywhere. The wind was taking like big ass transport trucks and eighteen wheelers and just kind of like, like swaying them like this. So I'm just I'm just like I'm cutting over to this side of the lane and then cutting over this dude and then coming in front of the truck. I'm not I don't like driving next to trucks or behind trucks, especially those trucks that carry like lumber or the big ass stacks. You know that you you load them on with with a forklift. I know they're strapped down good, but I don't know everybody that loads these trucks i don't work for those companies so you never know it could be a dude probably tacked out didn't load it properly or rushing to get out there or just not concentrating or trying to get home could try to finish off a shift that didn't strap it down properly whatever hit a bump or something happened that shit come flying off man that shit reminds me of final destination remember that movie final destination that that truck was carrying those big ass logs you know when, they, when you go cutting down trees and shit and then it's like the mother and the daughter <clears throat> driving in his car. And like in this movie, like a whole bunch of crazy stuff just happens naturally, just like crazy. Like it's like nature trying to kill people, right? And it's like these fools are trying to run from it. This one guy he knows about it, he tells everybody they think he's crazy and shit. So anyway, this these two, the mother and daughter's driving, 
something happens, she hits the, the truck, hits the brakes, they're talking, arguing or whatever, they look up, and you just see this lumber, just big ass log, just fall off and whoop, shoot right through the car window, bam! Takes the lady, I don't know if it took her, I think it took her head straight off and just went straight back. <laughs> This shit was crazy, man. Those are good movies, man. But they, they, they can get gory. Um, and there I go rambling. I was trying to touch. Well, yeah. So that it kind of reminded me. It kind of reminds me of that when I'm driving behind trucks. So that's why I don't. I always, you know, I always drive past them and, and try to stay in front of them the best I can. Um, and then there was a shooting. I think it was yesterday at YouTube in San, at the headquarters in uh, I think it's San San Bruno, California. And. Um, I tell you, man, people are so weirdos. So this broad, who was a gun, licensed gun owner, went shooting at a shooting range before they found out. I'm not too sure what happened. I, what I'm hearing through the grapevine, I didn't read the report, but I got, I see a lot of it on the news, is that I don't know if she was upset with YouTube officials uh, or the CEOs or whatever. I don't know if it had anything to do with money. <clears throat> but she went into the place and started dumping. And hit three people and they're in critical condition right now. I mean, can you imagine that? Like, like what if like like me and you know I don't know like like hoodie and uh, RDR or or, or or any or met me and and some other uh, you know YouTubers were there chilling and they're like you know having their little lunch or whatever, sipping on some lemonade, talking, discussing, you know, enjoying their day. You know, say probably went to go pick up their their pay or what. I mean, you know, it could have been there doing anything. You know, just just shooting the shit with some homies or whatever. And then you see this crazy bra come up in there and start waving a gat and then start bucking, bah, 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 and then start and hit three people. You know what I'm saying? And what if one of those people was like your cousin or your brother or your auntie or something? You know what I'm saying? Or your wife or whatever, you know? I mean, this is crazy, man. That's why like, I did that call for peace in my last video, you know? People just, man, I'm telling you, man. I think the best thing that we could do is stay prayed up and, and keep focus and keep putting positive keep pushing that positivity out there help people out and do kind things and that that good karma is going to come back man or it's going to protect you in your circle at least because this world is crazy yo, you know but on a positive note you know i'm feeling better and i hope you guys are doing good too i, I got a couple of homies and a couple of homegirls that are sick so i wish you well and i'll see you guys on the next video all right so check out the, the black panther cap fitted man this gray is popping for sure. I love y'all. Stay blessed.